What's going on guys? My name is Sharon 1899 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox render in Blender. Now in the past I have made a how-to and this is, you know, when I didn't know how to do Blender correctly I was still learning behind the scenes. But you know, for me that really helped with my channel and actually got me a lot of views with those thumbnails. So, But I've learned the way of how to use Blender and I've learned a bit about it. So now I think it's time that I help you guys out and give you some tips and tricks on just how to learn and progress in Blender. So right now I'm actually using Alex's rig. Uh, I will leave a link down below to his newest version, which is really sick, but I prefer the older one, which I'll also leave in the description. I'm also going to leave Alex's channel down below, so make sure to go check him out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get into this. So all links to like, again, everything will be down below. So if you need to download Blender, that will be down there and Alex's rig will be down there as well. So what you actually are going to need to do first before even doing this is you actually are going to need to go to Roblox and you want to go to Roblox Studio. So mine's right here. So you want to go to Roblox Studio, you want to open this up and you want to download Avatar Importer. I'll leave a link down uh, below to that as well. I'll leave all links down below. So anything you see in this video that needs to be downloaded, I'm just going to say now. Again, it will be in the description. Go check it out. But you want to basically open up a base plate and you want to go to your plugins after it's been downloaded and you want to go here. Now, I have Load Character Pro. I believe it's 25 Robux. I believe you can use the other one or you can use Moon Animator uh, Character Inserter. Uh, I'll leave them both again down below. But anyways, for this example, I'm just going to pull out, I guess, him. You know, he looks good. Uh, if you're using Alex's rig, make sure you do it in R6. It's very simple. Click R6. I've seen a lot of people in his community mess up with like textures and stuff and they're like, well, what's going on? Why is it working? It needs to be R6. Click R6. Now, you should have your guy here. Now, what you want to do next is you want to open this up and you want to go to humanoid root part. Now, once you're over here, you want to go to orientation and you want to set this to 0, 3, 0. And then position, you need to set this to the same thing. 0, 3, 0. Great. Now, once that's done, you go over here, you click on it, you right click on it, export selection and then you go to your folder wherever you're saving it to where you know you can find it and you want to name it whatever it is so already pro save all right so that's done now once you're done you can close out you don't need to save the base plate and now we're here now if you have downloaded blender and you've downloaded this um you should be set you can just open it up it should be ready for you you should just see this so once you have this you want to delete the hair by doing so you um, right click and then you're going to delete or X. X also works. Um, you want to go to file, you want to go to import, and you want to go to wavefront obj. Now, once you're there, you want to go to your Roblox folder and you want to find it. You can search for it on the top. So, this and this is important. Please don't forget this. When you click on him, you also want to make sure it's the obj file. You want to go to geometry and you want to split by group. That's also another issue I've seen. Make sure to click this. If you don't click this, it's not going to work. Click split by group. Now he should be inside the avatar, like kind of halfway in there. Um, if you did that correctly, you know, it should look like this. Now, next, you want to find where the head is. So once you're here at the head, you can delete everything else underneath it. So delete all that or wherever, like wherever the head stops. You just want to highlight it and then delete. Now you should only have the items. Now, what you want to do, find your head attachments. So these are your head attachments. So you want to grab it. You want to hold it. You want to go to head attachments. You want to click shift and then drop. Let go of it. That's it. Then you go over here. And okay, so this kind of is like a torso attachment. So we can put that on the torso. So again, shift, drop, grab it, shift, and there you go that's all you have to do now basically if I were to go over here uh, you can click on like these black lines and you go over to pose mode make sure you go pose mode when you're using this and you see now if I move the head this will move this I guess yeah that's going with that's a little weird I might change that but again this is an example um, so after you're done with that you now want to click on the head. This is very important as well for textures. Go over here to your file, this little folder, should be right here. Make sure you click on the head. 
go to your folder, go to Roblox, and then find his name. So already pro was his name. So, okay, I wanna say this, there are textures where they will have more than one. So if you have more than one texture for your character, click the very bottom one, which is like the very bottom number. See if that one works, because you're usually already pro. You see how it's like a one? Usually some of them will be like already pro two text PNG. So try to find the lowest one. It should be your texture for your guy. And then open. And there you go. You can see I have him perfectly textured and everything looks great. Now, another thing you want to do. This is faceless switch. If you just click on it, when you're in object mode, you have to be in object mode. If you click on it, you can move the face, turn it off, on, off, you know, whatever. You can basically do that. I personally, when I'm doing renders, it's it just depends what you render you're doing, but I personally keep it off. Um, now, to actually get to posing, I actually do want to mention this one bug, which is really annoying that I learned. Uh, if you go to bones, checkbox, click this checkbox, and then click it again, and then you can go and click on these white uh, cubes. Uh, if you just click X on them, you can delete them. So just click X, and you get rid of those. So now what you want to do, is you want to click on this or you can also if you want if you want to make this easier on yourself you can always go to uh here go to controller shape and then op so you just open this up and then go to amateur bones uh and then go to pose mode which is all the way up here now once you're done now you're gonna have a nice and ready uh to pose character now um for this example i'm not gonna do anything crazy i think i'll just do like a look up scene i don't know I'm not doing anything nuts because it's just an example. So, we'll, you know, we'll give him a okay pose. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh -huh. And don't be afraid to do this outside of pose mode to change positions like the torso here. I don't like how that's going here. So we can grab the torso and we can just scoot that over. There we go. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but I don't also like it. So whatever, we're just leaving it as an example. Um, what you want to do next is you want to press zero on your number pad and You want to press shift and F and this should move your camera uh, If you don't know how to move your camera or it's not shift F I will leave another tutorial down below from another youtuber to how to change it because it's been a while since I've actually changed my settings So I don't really know um, What you want to do is you want to just get your camera right you want to get your camera angle right just click shift F It's WASD mouse to move it around. It's pretty simple um, but next you want to click over here. You want to click on this little camera icon or no way. Is it the camera? No, it's this one. So you want to click underneath the camera icon. Apologize about that. Uh, you want to go here. You want to change the resolution to 1,500 on both X and Y. I'll give you guys a second. Okay. Once you've done that, you want to press shift F again. And you want to kind of zoom in as, as much as you can. Just make sure you got everything fitted in. Looks nice. Now, if your computer can handle, so I'm gonna just explain something. With Eevee, lights have bloom. You know, you have a good light effect, but when you're in cycles, you don't have as, or you don't have a much of a bloom effect. There's a lot more work you have to put into it. So Eevee is your best choice if you don't have a, like a good computer and you're trying to render. I personally have a good computer and I don't use cycles. I mean, sometimes I do, but I personally like Eevee for a lot of things. You know just bloom and adding cool stuff so um so once you're done with that you can leave the render viewport as it is if you want to go higher you can um you also want to go here click on this top this is what the render or viewport shading should look like so click this little bubble on the top here now you're going to notice it's pretty dark so what you want to do is you want to go to uh here and you want to click shader editor so again it's right here shader editor and then once you go to shader editor, you want to go to object and you want to go to world and then press shift in a And once you've done that type environment texture or you can just put en it should pop up as the third one Now connect color to color. It's pretty simple And then what you want to do is you want to go to open now. I will leave the HDRI uh, Down below HDRI heaven down below I'll also leave a link to the certain one I'm using uh, there is 2k 4k. I personally use 4k. So if your computer can handle it go for it uh, You want to look HDR in the search bar wherever you save that HDR and uh, I'm gonna use this one for an example So actually, yeah, we'll use this one. So we're gonna open up the image and Now we can go to viewport 
And as you can see, there's like a nice sun effect, but we don't want this for rendering it because if we press render image right now, you're gonna see it's not transparent. It has this really bad background that we don't want. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this little camera right here. This time I, I remembered, click the camera and you want to go to film. It's right here, should be under this. So press film and right underneath filter size, you wanna press transparent. And now, look at that. You got a nice, nice little glow. As bad as I don't like the lighting, this is again, is an example, so, yeah. Um, but now you have the lighting, and that's how you do that. That's how you just add an environment texture. If you don't want an environment texture, you don't have to have an environment texture. You can use lights, which I'm gonna show you right now how to put in. So if you want lights, you wanna go to add. You wanna go to light, it's pretty simple. And you can add a point, a sun, a spot, and an area. I recently, personally, have been getting into area lights. Uh, first, I was using point lights. They're good, they're not bad. I've just found these to be more useful, but for you, I wouldn't recommend using these yet. I would recommend starting off with lights, just normal point lights, because they're easy to get used to, and then you learn more about uh, positions with lighting and rim lighting, which, uh, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on rim lighting, I will definitely give uh, a tutorial on that. So now, you can see there's some light towards this kind of head, and you can change the filter of the light. It's very simple. You just find where, you're, where you saved your, uh, or where you imported your light, and you want to go to this little light icon, and you can change the watts or the power of the light. So if we want, we can make this like 10,000, and it's going to be like super bright, but you can always put it behind the character, and you can give it some cool glow, I guess, if you want. I don't really like that but this is again an example and you can change the color of course to whatever you think fits best actually that doesn't look bad that doesn't look too bad no that doesn't look bad at all um but basically that's what you would do you know get that nice light so now you have your avatar you have your lights you have your environment texture what else is there to show you Rendering so Important to remember when rendering is that the file is huge So if you do not have room in your computer to hold big files I would recommend deleting some stuff because rendering does take up a bit of room in your computer I have a good amount of storage, so I'm fine But if you, have, if you don't have a good computer and you don't have a good lot of storage I'd recommend trying to maybe turn down your render your render settings uh, Right here. I'd recommend trying to maybe turn it down just a bit see if that fixes some issues but yeah, so basically now I'd go over here and I would press render image. You can see we have a good, we got a render now. We have a, we have this. Sure, it, it's fine. I don't really like the outcome of it, but whatever, it's an example. Um, you want to go to image, you want to save as, and then you want to name it whatever you want. It's going to save as a PNG. And uh, yeah, that is it. Save it to the folder you like. I'm not gonna save that because I don't wanna waste my time with it. But I am gonna show you one more thing before this video ends because I see it a lot on Alex's channel. And please, just, it's really simple, guys. So there's a thing where I've seen this happen. So people will be like, well, how did you move it? So we're gonna, real quick, go back into pose mode. Remember, always go into pose mode. Don't do it in object mode unless you gotta move like a torso or like a leg or something to make it look a little better, you can. But basically, Moving stuff is really simple. You go over here. If you can't find it, it's usually right here. You pull it out or click on it. I think you can just click on it. You see that? Can you click on it? Yeah, you can just click on it. And you want to use the rotate tool. This is the tool you want to use. And then if you don't know what rotation does, it's pretty simple. This goes this way. Oh, wait. This goes this way. This goes up and down, side to side. It's, you know, it's really simple. Oh, and by the way, Control Z to reset back if you messed up something. And yeah, that is it. Again, guys, go check out Alex GFX. Super cool guy. I'll also leave his Discord down below. You know, he's been super helpful. I've learned so much from him, from like GFX, and just learned a lot. I'm also learning a lot more other stuff behind the scenes besides Roblox GFX. So I'll talk about that more later. But yeah, this is this video. Uh, this is how to render your Roblox character in Blender. If you guys did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And again, 
please check the description for downloads. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me down in the comments below. I'll try to get to everyone. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.